Hey there, lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Official time check. We are around uh, 12 15. Okay. So uh, we'll be reviewing uh, one fragrance and we'll be doing one, um, you know, list for you. Okay. And the fragrance that I have for you, something I ordered like one month back. And thankfully, after one month, I actually, I think a little bit more than one month, uh, but it finally arrived in Bangladesh. It's a dupe of a very, very expensive fragrance. And you should watch out for this fragrance. If you haven't seen reviews, please check out reviews from all the YouTube reviewers. Okay. So this is going to be a fragrance called uh, Divine Oud, Oud. Okay. I am not sure if it's Divine Oud or Divine Oud because it's not, it's not, you know, it doesn't look like Divine, you know, there should be an E. But this is a dupe of something very expensive from Roja Dove called Ember Oud, which I reviewed uh, on my channel. One of the community members uh, lent me his bottle. And that fragrance, I think I saw Ashton's video. He mentioned this original one by Roja Dove goes for around $700 something plus. Okay. That is, I think, uh, officially, uh, I think, a Herod's release or somewhere. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'm wrong. But even if you get like a cheaper, uh, like a tester or maybe like, you know, like from discounters, it's going to be still 400 something dollars, which is not cheap at all. So this one right here, I present to you under... I don't know different countries maybe different pricing maybe let's just call it safe to say 35 to 40 dollars uh clone okay um it has a huge packaging uh, and I, I actually don't have much space you see this is already out of the edge so i will talk about it and i'll let you know how good this is or if it's worth it it worth it or not okay stuff like that so first of all the box looks like that massive massive box you personally uh i don't know about you but i feel for this much bottles this kind of big packaging is not needed perhaps they wanted to you know show a little bit more up class or a little bit more posh but could have been done like like half the box size that would be great these are cumbersome man i'm like not very big fan of big pa packaging i'm probably gonna throw them out but uh i'm sorry fragrance uh world uh like you know if they're watching uh maybe you know like i, I don't know if they feel bad but i think uh, these fragrances uh, are definitely good but uh the packaging sometimes could be you know too much and here's the other box this is the nice looking box this one has nice design to be honest okay it looks really really premium okay it has this kind of like a seal or a coin in front it's edb concentration 100 mil this is like a solid box you see some other information at the back okay and then up there you also see um sorry a little bit dust okay so this one you see if a i don't know if it's supposed to be fw or fa i don't know anyway and if you open it that's where i, I think you can see it that's where the bottle stays a bit dark in there isn't it yeah I, anyway you get the idea here is where the bottle stays so i took it out let me remove the packaging a little bit because i want to make space for perhaps the uh perfume okay so or maybe just keep it here okay these are too big <laughs> man the boxes the bottle however i like the bottle is just like rotted up and they didn't try to be discreet they straight up took the bottle and then they cloned it and the bottle definitely the juice color looks really pretty really uh, just like the original and the name here the same style the metal plate i saw in one of the videos or pictures this thing moves so i don't know the build quality of that edp concentration the names there the cap is also just like i have done i think roger of elysium uh, clone that they, they had this kind of uh, a cap as well but these are plastic okay but looks nice and the this heaviness of the cap of the metal but these are all not crystal for sure and then apart from the bottle looks really really nice i don't want to lie atomizer is very good let me wear it on my hand i'll tell you how, what i get from it so here let's just go okay small small burst uh sprayer is good okay so what you get from ember oud okay or ember out is basically a lot of notes okay i don't remember all the notes i'm referring to fragrantica uh, bergamo lime lemon and then rose fig ylang ylang jasmine oud ambergris saffron cinnamon civet orris root Bird, sandalwood, musk, oak moss, and patchouli. So I do want to break it down a little bit, and I want to be like giving a little bit detailed uh, comparison. Otherwise, you will not be able to pick up like should I get it or not. It will be confusing. Okay, first of all, is this a good clone? Yes, it's a very, very, very good clone of the original. But let me talk about the original a little bit because original deserves all the credit. When I reviewed Ember Out, that fragrance lasts on my skin almost twenty four hours. Okay. That one, it's a beast. I don't know what they put in there, but Roja Dove's quality in that fragrance is 
phenomenal. I mean, those who used it, they were fortunate to use it or own it. Those who have deep pockets, they would tell you, man, that fragrance is one of a kind. It has so much complexity, so much sweetness and so much wearability. And it's not like straight up oud and rose combo. Okay, the original, I'm talking about Ember Oud by Roja. That, okay, it's not looking nice. It's just keep it here. Then the bottle will be in the center. It'll look prettier. Uh, mm. Man, I wish I had a bigger setup. Anyway, so uh, I liked it and the opening blast was so beautiful. It reminded me of some Montel's rose, you know, but it reminded me of so many other fragrances as well. So the magical note in that fragrance was this fruity fee. And then the, mashed it with the rose, jammy rose with the amber and some animalic touch. The oud is there and then the citrus is up there. So it makes it very easy going introduction and the fragrance would be like really, really uh, something I would say uh, you can say um, like worthy of looking at. It's very complex fragrance. If you want to pay for niche fragrances, you definitely get uh, like value for your money. But how much value? I cannot tell because these are supremely, supremely expensive. So uh, my humble opinion on that was that was a great 10 out of 10 fragrance, but very, very expensive. I don't want to say overpriced uh, because I have respect for Roja Dove. So coming to this one, <clears throat> what do you expect? Someone asked me, brother, did you get any fig from this? You know, honestly speaking, I never really uh, picked up any fig in the original one. Okay, to be honest, I did. My nose did not maybe uh, like <laughs> detect and my nose perhaps not that trained. But what I get from this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, bergamot citrus. Look at the oil concentration. This is uh, oily. Okay, so a lot of oil in there. So for me, this one opens up with a beautiful bergamot, citrus, lemon, and then you can smell something fruity, like a jammy rose at the same time, something like a, you know, like a Turkish delight. There's a rose Turkish delight, something edible, something gourmand. That's what I get from this. And it's beautiful. It's not like uh, Mancera's sound, the rose wood overkills. This is more like it's going there, but it's wearable somewhere, you know, you know, even if you do not like rose, you should look at this. Okay. One thing is the presentation is just crazy for the price. It's 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 a must buy if you just look at the price value for that. But if let's say downsides, let's talk about downsides. If you're not a fan of rose, oud, this kind of notes, this will not be your jam. Okay, I like this because I do enjoy some wearable like jammy rose and some you know fruitiness from there. I wear a lot of fragrance and this thing develops also nicely, just like the rosette of amberwood. This one develops also to be complex amazing juice i saw the bottle i knew i saw the juice color i knew this is going to be a good fragrance and those who used it they can tell you perfect night out beauty really good longevity i think on your shirt and skin combined you'll get solid longevity but projection is not like roja and longevity also in total you cannot compare it with roja Dove, okay roja Dove is like a day uh, you're talking about days in that fragrance this one you're talking about hours how many hours i got on me on my skin on my skin it lasts about three and a half hours to four hours okay so this is not the longevity of the fragrance. If you wear this on your shirt, this will last better because my skin is kind of dry. So it's not really cold weather yet. I think in cold weather, it will push about six hours on my skin and eight to 10 hours on my clothes. So it's good. Do not spray this on white clothing. You regret it because of the color of the juice. So how close this is? If you ask for percentage, I'll use my imagination. I would say very close, very, very, very close. And this fragrance, it's, you can tell that Many people will compare this if they've compared the real thing, they will say this is not the same quality. Of course not. This, they did not use the same ingredients, but whatever they used and whatever they gave you in this price point, I think is very agreeable, very commendable. And if you're not a big fan of rose, perhaps you can skip it. It reminds me also of back to black, you know, but minus the cloves, like from Mancera, minus the spices. This is more on the sweet, you know, like oud, sweet, like, you know, something that unisex you know uh wearing okay i just absolutely love this fragrance if you have been a fan of rojada amber out and black to black uh, by mancera this is a fragrance you should check out uh, this is for people who actually like sort of like kalemat black by arabian oud or 24 gold by sense story or something like you know like um, lata faragba oud intense lata faragba uh, middle eastern style perfume this is like expensive smelling perfume and i really think the bot is well done perhaps i'll keep like a backup bottle of this really nice jammy rose in there so turkish delight jammy rose nice amber and i do not get much of animalic touch but many of you will get if you just enter the fragrance game okay so keep this in mind and this is not for beginners okay if you are going to blind by this i would say please don't okay uh if you hear i give it high rating of course i will give it 
because it's impressive but do not blind by say hey this is stinking on my shirt it's not like my kind of juice i did not enjoy that you know like you know don't make that mistake go and sniff it if you are not into the dark fragrance and wood do not try this okay so my rating on this fragrance i cannot like look at this presentation and i paid about 30 under 35 bucks in bangladesh from a page called fragrant ticker thank you so much uh, bidud bhai for bringing this in bangladesh uh, he is doing some awesome work this page is king they are selling like hot cakes anything i review they are bringing and selling i mean and they're providing me with as quick as possible whenever i order i get them very quickly right so the price is very reasonable their services are top notch great house and they are um, you know like the source where I, i'll leave a link below you can buy it from there okay so dv now this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance guys okay check it out and uh, check out the full review do not just look at the rating okay why give it 10 out of 10 because in every way uh, something of $700 versus uh, something $35 I'd rather get like 10 bottles of it you know that good but again rose it up quality difference if you smell them side by side it would be very obvious which one is natural which one is more premium but this is such a lovely playful fragrance those who love this kind of perfume just try it if you blind buy this i don't think you'll be very disappointed okay so there you go fragrance world well, giving out that's my review and check it out okay i have one more uh, list for uh, people who love fresh fragrances then we'll upload it take care have a nice day bye, -bye.